I was too prideful. I don't know who I thought I was that I didn't need help. But as soon as I reached out and accepted what was offered to me, that hand of help, it was like the angels flew in and took care of me. And those angels have been around me all this time. They swam with me when I was out in the bay. They were with me when I was driving drunk because I sure did that a lot. They were with me in every single one of my bad choices that put me in harm's way that kept me out. But this angel had to have some pretty strong wings to get this girl sober. But after three days of living hell, I turned a corner. I was able to take a shower. I'm walking around with my IV. Oh, by the way, I'm also malnourished, and they think I have anorexia. No, all my calories have been coming from alcohol for the past who knows how long. I don't know how to eat, and if I do eat something, I'll probably throw it up. So everything has to be relearned. But I remember stepping under that warm shower after three days and thinking, wow, oh, you've been given this second chance, this, this opportunity to do your life over. And I know that in rehab, there were a lot of people that had been repeating. And I didn't look at them or judge them at all. That's their journey. But for me, for me personally, I knew that this was a one-shot deal. And that it was not going to come around ever again. And I had to prize this. More than those trophies that I won when I was a little kid, I had to prize it more than any of those fast times or that applause that, or approval that I got. This was mine and mine alone, and I needed to take care of it. And I was thinking, gosh, I feel something. I feel something that I haven't felt in such a long time. Hope. I had hope for the first time since I could remember. Hope. Without hope, you have nothing with just a little bit of hope towards a better future, you have everything.